Outfitters. Let me tell you about Hood Republic Outfitters. Hood Republic Outfitters, Get Right or Die Trying, basically represents a, a, a black person, a Spanish person of any ethnic trying to get back into life, just trying to understand where they, they're supposed to be at in life, never giving up. That's when we go to the next one is Living My Best Life. Living My Best Life was made to enjoy life, to understand, to empower and grow bigger than your struggle. Unbothered. Unbothered is for us to be unbothered by the things that we are actually traumatized by. We have to elevate ourselves every day. We have to be unbothered by things that we see on TV. Fake love, fake love comes into the pack where there's a lot of cloud chasers. There's a lot of people that don't really have good intentions for you. So basically, that is exactly why with fake love, you have to embody, understand, either love me or leave me alone. You have to. Just have to. in this building with my mom at the age of two. My mother used to sell drugs underneath this actual floor. So to see the coming of age of me actually work in this actual spot, doing something positive really touched my soul. So that was something that real that's really big to me about this. Watching this come from nothing to something. Like now is the biggest coffee shop in the Bronx where a lot of people talk about it. And to me, I feel great to say that because you know, at the end of the day, this is a woman that showed me how to be more of a consultant to helping people that's trying to up and come. And that's what Hood Republic Outfitters represents. Over here is where I grew up at. This is my building, it's my childhood building right here. 750 was full of nothing but kids that played basketball. This is where like, you know, to people in the hood, we was like the good kids. I was cool with hands on that part, being a good kid, good kid. It was um, it was six of us, it was six of us, six of us in a bedroom apartment, three bedroom apartment, six boys, one girl, all living up here. And my aunt really raised us to where everybody had to understand that you got to take accountability for whatever it is you do. I think that's where I really got my push to want to like give back to the community. This is exactly where everything started at with her. God bless us so you know, and as far as us with a lot of boys in the house, that's a competitive place. So, you know, that's where my competitive spirit come from. So where we are right now, this is known as Hunts Point Playground, but to everybody in the hood, we call this 48 Park. 48 Park, basically what we're trying to do now is just restore the, the community with basketball. So we're just trying to restore life within the sports and the community. And I'm just looking forward to everything that we got going on in the future. It's dope when you see like these young kids look forward to it. So when they looking forward to just one to playing a basketball tournament like how we used to be like when we were younger, like, like Flames, you know, me and Flames, we grew up together, we played in tournaments right there in the street right there. So it's like we all got we all got a life, you know, but at the end of the day we still remember the, the legacy of everything that goes on inside this point. Yo, his family right here, this dude right here, man. This, these are my, these are my ace right here. These my day one. Him and his boy, brother Manny. Yo, we used to, they used to throw shit at us. <laughs> <laughs> we live where we lived at. We live in a co-op. They lived in the building right next to us. So when we used to be playing in a playground, they would just like we would always tease him because he was the littlest one. So he would throw eggs and throw ice at us. So we one time we was on the terrace, we throwing eggs and ice at each other. So it's definitely a lot of oh, history. Wow, it's so tough. <laughs> Flames is hot, fire in the hole. Hey, how's it going? My name is Flames. I'm the owner of Everything Trendy. Jermaine, that's my buddy. I've known him for many years since I was a kid. Very good guy. We got basketball tournaments here. We're all about the community. That's all it's been about. Nothing but good things, positive, positivity out here, and it's a beautiful thing. My guy, known him since I was a kid. He's doing it. Nothing bad to say. Everything good. I mean, everything that I've done, it was like, it was somebody around me that influenced me. 48 Park is a lot of history for everybody that know that. Everybody that comes from Fell Street, Loretto, Gilbert, Irvine, Bryant, Seneca, everybody knows about this park. This is the park where everybody come out. This also, this right here is the school that, this is on my, my elementary school right here, PS48. When I look at this neighborhood, I, I, I start to really see how I came about with Hood Republic Outfit. The hood part, you know already what that is. The Republic part is just basically 
when you know growing up they always say it takes a village to raise a kid so the republic part that's basically owning where you come from um and the outfitters is just basically like you know every time when it comes to the, the urban community everybody look at us as an outsider so basically we're the outfitters that everybody wants to be like so that's basically how hood republic outfitters came about <laughs> The longtime Hunts Point resident grew up here, as you totally came out, brought many of you all here. Really appreciate all that you've done to just make sure that we knew what we were doing. So there you go, two men. Thank you very much. I am the owner of Boogie Down Grind Cafe, which is where we're at right now. We are an urban hip hop themed uh, cafe where we serve local wine and beer and really perfectly expressly, you know, brewed espresso. And our goal really was to create basically a place for our beautiful community members to do the activity that makes them communities. So everything from artistic events to open mics, uh, you know, public art. I don't exactly remember when I met Jermaine, <laughs> but I do know that he reminded me that he was just this like little rough and tough little boy. And we partnered with, uh, with, with Jermaine first on you know, his own project you know, which was the, 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 the Hunts Point basketball tournament. And that was this like incredible eye-opening thing to me. And so when Jermaine like, you know, created this, this basketball tournament called Stop the Violence, you know, really worked with, um, uh, with, with community members to do just that, you know, get together on, on the, um, you know, on the court and connect in a really beautiful, powerful way. Um, it was just like, this, this, this man is like a master organizer number one like he knows his community his community loves him it's base it is people like jermaine who actually also see that the value of our own community as a place that really just needs to be supported in order for people in it to see its value so it reflects back on them and i think that was like really one of the remarkable things that um i've experienced you know with jermaine and the work that he does started out with Get Right or Die trying with co-ed football. As it started to excel, we came across to Rough Touch football. So that's where Big Love came from. My name is Clinton, and I'm co-owner of Veteran Style. Veteran Style is a street brand. We just try to change the game. We just don't put out shirts. We uh, put out messages about Jermaine. <laughs> I know him as Maine, but I just got to learn about him as Jermaine. Um, I met him playing football in City Island. Play for the Browns. He's a good dude, man. Um, it was all football in the beginning until I learned about his clothing brand. That's how we, we became real, real, real tight. Um, we bounce off each other for advice. The, the best thing I like about Maine is he's consistent. Like, he just don't, he's in your face, and that's perfect. Like, especially for what he's doing. A very straightforward guy, known for a couple of years. Met him when I was about like 13 years old. Uh, very straight up, you know, just like me. Grew up in the streets. A very humble guy. Came a long way. We're talking about the fans, to be honest, it's just a bunch of guys just try coming together, trying to stay safe in the streets. We're all here having a good time, creating relationships, helping one another, building brands, building connections, building businesses together. And that's what life is about. You know, all the communities together and stuff like that. Similar to what he's doing right now in TFL, you know? He's bringing all these teams together with his fake love products, and his unbothered, all that stuff. And we're trying to keep it with us and let us grow within the TFL so that way, you know, you know, we can make a few dollars in the end plus get our uh, our own our own brand out. People always talk to Jermaine about something and you know, always get some type of advice or get a different perspective on things. He's always been a good dude. Like we all go through our trials and tribulations growing up, but I can honestly say, like, you know, anybody under him, he always kind of, like, staring a different path. Whether you had the guidance at home or not, he added that extra guidance, and I always respect that about him. Hey, my brother, I love you, bro, you heard? It was fake love out here, you heard? Go cop your sweatsuit, go cop your hat, go cop your shirt, you heard? One thing that I like about him is that 
he is very professional and very like straight forward. Working very hard to keep us safe and go to school. He's a great guy. Too. I look at his TikTok. Sometimes he's um he does all this stuff. He puts up music and and then he sings by himself and he and then he puts on a filter behind. It's his BET. Like he he's on TV, but he's not really on TV. He's just talking on the cell phone. And because I see him when he's talking to my his friends. So I put as my dad talking to his friends. So it's like fun. Actually. To me is basically the father of my own brand, Mario. And if and my dad, who is the owner of the Clipper after, inspired me to make a brand my myself. I want you to feel like you can do it too. Like you can draw whatever you want and then put it on a t-shirt and say that's yours. To know, to have that confidence saying anything you draw. I'm very grateful for my dad because not a lot of people have a, de a parent that's going to like let them do like express themselves in however they want to express themselves and never judges us. He lets us, you know, experiment a lot and every move we make he supports it and um, being the oldest I feel like I really watched my father grow a lot and change into like a total new person. I'm really proud of all the moves that he's been making recently and yeah. Check the mic and make sure it sound right boys. Hi, I'm Juju. Working with Jermaine is amazing because he's a very transparent, passionate man, a uh, family man. And I think um, although we have very different experiences growing up, we did grow up in a sense of hood, community, being proud of our neighborhoods and wanting better for our neighborhoods. Although he grew up in New York and I grew up in California, I know that we have similar passion and drive and love for fashion, for sports, for hip hop, music, and just giving back to our community. And this is why I believe our partnership is a great partnership and believe it will grow into something bigger and better than I could have ever imagined with any other partnership. Cause um, we're completely different, which is good, but then we are on the same um, wave line in thinking of what is best for our community, what's best for our culture. Hey guys, I'm Juju and I'm here with Maine from Hood Republic Outfitters and we are so happy to share with you guys a, a little bit about what Simply Dope is and our project within the brand and the proceeds we donated to Council Him, which is a youth empowerment organization based out of Harlem. Council Him Foundation is a nonprofit organization that is catered to young men of color who aspire to be in sports and entertainment. As you know, in our community, uh, a lot of our young people aspire to be two things, rappers and ball players. So one of the things that our organization wanted to do, we wanted to pair our young men up with men of color who look just like them. However, with those men, are the ones who are behind the scenes. So we wanted to create to change a narrative on how we look at our young black men. And that's the way Council Him has been structured. The thing about you, you bring so much diverse. Um, it's like, same way she say, I'm, I'm transparent, she's more transparent as well. I, I love her passion for everything that she puts a hand on. Um, as far as like, we connect more on community. We all, we all love to build. So, you know, we're actually, we have, we both have that mindset of it actually takes a village to raise a kid. And I definitely love that about, um, I love the fact that she's very family oriented, something that I never had growing up. So it's it more so like she balances it out to where I understand it. Like I could be insensitive to things that she'll, she'll bring more to life. 